All right, so the question here is what's the difference between Clomid and Letrozole? Okay, so both, both drugs serve two purposes. So first of all, they're both ovulation induction medications. So in people who don't have regular periods or who don't ovulate regularly, they will both induce ovulation. For patients who ovulate, um, they can also be super ovulation agents. So they can help people who already ovulate, super ovulate so that they might release more than one um, egg. Okay. So that is one way in which they're similar. So they're used in similar ways. However, their mechanisms of action are a little bit different. So Clomid is a selective estrogen receptor modulator, and it works to and it works as an antagonist at the hypothalamus. It's an estrogen receptor antagonist at the hypothalamus. Whereas letrozole is an aromatase inhibitor. So what it does is it just blocks the production of uh, estrogen in the entire body. So they work differently, but, they're, but how their mechanism of action results in the same thing, which is you get this endogenous surge of FSH. So one simple way to put it is clomiphene tricks the brain into thinking there's no estrogen around, so it works directly at the level of the brain. So the brain pours out more FSH, whereas the aromatase inhibitor drops the amount of estrogen in the body, the brain senses that drop in estrogen and then pours out a little more FSH, okay? So those are the differences in the mechanism of action. When you should use one versus the other is real simple. If someone meets the definition of PCOS, which is irregular periods, uh, elevated signs of male hormone, um, or uh, large ovaries on ultrasound. So if they have two out of three of these criteria, they meet the definition of PCOS. And in those patients who are trying with PCOS who are trying to get pregnant, letrozole has been demonstrated to be more effective than Clomid head to head. So letrozole is the preferred agent in patients with PCOS. In everybody else, Clomid is probably the better first line agent. Though in patients with unexplained infertility, there is some data to suggest that letrozole may be equivalent or close to equivalent. So you'll see people use them interchangeably, but my preference and everyone other than those with PCOS is to use clomiphene citrate. So that is kind of a summary of the differences, questions or comments.